What's up everybody, welcome back. So, today we are going to be doing Goku and Vegeta, Kamehameha and Gallic Gun, back to back from their fight with Broly in the movie. So, um, definitely use a pencil, this is challenging. Two characters, they're not sort of facing us straight on. Um, and Vegeta is kind of tilted. Vegeta is probably harder than Goku, so because he's like his body's tilted back this way. So definitely use a pencil and eraser. Hit pause a lot. Two faces, three quarter poses, and four hands. So hands are always tricky. So, so you can do it. Try your best, and just take your time. Hit pause. I know I've said that before, but you know, hit use your pause button a good bit. So. Goku's over here, Vegeta's here. We'll start with Goku, because he's kind of easier. He's kind of a bit easier. He's standing sort of straight. So, we will start with his sort of big eye, so his normal sort of eye. So, halfway, and my page is here. This is the halfway point vertically down the middle. And then we're going to come over into this side of our paper. And we're going to start with his eyebrow. Okay, so we're about here on this side of the page. Okay, in this half. So we're going to start with the eyebrow and tick. So we tick up. here first and then we're going to bring it across like so so just make that a longer sort of tick like that so it's like a nike sort of tick and then the side of it comes up here that sort of thick end for the eyebrows and then we'll curve it back down and it gets thinner as we go down you taper it down so it gets gradually thinner as we go down. And then curves up into his brow there. So that's the kind of shape for his eyebrow we're doing. So his eye then in here, so we do that box like Dragon Ball eye, so we do a diagonal line that way first. And then the small line just in here. And then we join those together. Like so. So he's frowning pretty heavily. So they're quite thin. And then his iris is like a thin slit of a circle. You can't see it all because it's covered by his eyebrow. Like so. So the other eye, because it's three quarter pose, is slightly smaller, right? But we have that typical W shape that Dragon Ball characters have in the middle. So just here, first. Okay, it's that W shape. And then the other eyebrow, so coming out from here, it's going to tick up this way. Like that, okay? And you'll notice it's a little bit thinner, or smaller, should I say, than this one. It doesn't, it's not the same length. Okay, small bit smaller. And then this comes up to the thick end. It's because this side of his face is turned away. It's three quarter pose. So the eye on this side, any facial features on this side are smaller than on this side because these are further away from us. These are closer. So it's a bit of perspective. Then we bring down the eyebrow towards the center again, into there. So then that box like eye, so we have diagonal down there 
the small side. We can't see as much of it because it's in behind his frown, but we can see a tiny little bit there. And then bring it up like so. And then his iris, you can see just a tiny little bit of it just here. Going in behind his eye or in behind his frown of his nose there. So then his nose, so we have sort of a bumping sort of frown line here at the top of his nose. And then it comes out like so, curves out like this. And we bring it back down. And then it's gonna go back this way. And then of course we have that shadow that Dragon Ball characters have underneath their noses. So we go diagonal down and then back in to the top of the nose. It's kind of like a little triangle there. Then of course he has those cheek marks. So those ticks that are underneath his cheeks that Dragon Ball characters have, like so. Two or three of those. And we can see it on this side as well. Of course, it's smaller. Like that. So his mouth is open, so it's gonna curve from underneath his nose. So we're gonna go underneath the nose, up like this. First, like it's closed, just a, a line like that, but then it comes around. Like so. And then down around here. Like so. And back up towards the point of the nose then. So an open mouth like that. And then we can see teeth in there. So the top teeth first coming across here. So, bottom teeth, so the tongue area just here, like so, and then the outside of those teeth just there. Okay, so his chin then, just, just below his mouth here, curves around, like so. So when you're doing three quarter pose, you can't see the jaw on this side. You can only see the jaw on this side. So we can see the cheek here and the jaw here because the face is turned away. So the jaw will come up like this and then change direction up to his ear. Okay, so the change direction is about at the top teeth level, just there. So then on this side, we're gonna curve out to his cheek that sticks out. So it kind of curves this way. Can't see the jaw on this side. And then his cheek is here. So it comes around like so. Stops at his sort of cheek marks, those lines. And then it's gonna come up to his forehead. So we're gonna bump out again. Up to there. So it's a very particular kind of shape and then goes up to his brow, just up to there. And then we can probably see some lines on his brow just here. So coming out from his forehead, we can see a big hair spike. So it comes out like all the way out. So, so it comes across like so. This is the first one of his fringe, and then there's three more that go back this direction. So this like comes in all the way to his hairline into there. And his hairline is just a V that's here. And then this comes up, out, and down to a spike. Boop, real big one. 
next one comes out from here. So it's going to come, say, out from the center of his head. Out like so. Right in, nearly touches his eyebrow. And then spikes back up into here, back in. Next one then comes out around his the end of his eyebrow, just here. Then we spike back up, like so, back into here. And a small one over his ear. So spike in there, to here, to there. And then we can see his ear just in here. And there's some bones and ligaments inside there. The easiest way to do that is just like a letter J. Simple. You can leave it like that if you wanted, or you can add more. So, like so. Just add a bit more detail. So now that classic Super Saiyan hair. So, ba -ba -ba. I know it's Super Saiyan blue, but it's it's the same as standard Super Saiyan hair, except it's blue. So, spiking out, like so. So it's like, imagine it's like a candle flame going up to a point, like up, uh, like the point is like up here. This is like the big spike in the middle of the head, okay? And all the other spikes sort of travel up towards it and around it. So, small down here, then the next one. Like so, back down. Next one. Like so. Do -do. Back down. Then the big one will come down into here that and then there's a smaller one in behind just there and then this massive one will come down all the way nearly to this spike here so it's gonna go out like so then down to there and then there's one in the center of his head sort of in the middle like so, up to here, back down, into there. Doo -doo. Right, and then there's like three more here. So the small one first, just down here. Like that. And then bigger one. Up like so, back down, and then we go up, like so, and then there is all texture lines, all like hair spikes and, sorry, um, texture lines all over the hair spikes. So, like this, just following the shape of each one, adding one or two lines like so okay so that's his hair so now we'll do so we'll, so we'll try and do like the shape for his torso which is here we can see his back coming down this way and then his shoulder and his hands are like here doing the Kamehameha so his back right so it pretty much comes out from this hair spike the top of this hair spike comes out like so down to there so as you'll imagine he's a muscular sort of guy so it's not just like a smooth line so it's got one bump here 
right? So that's the first one. Then the next bump comes out down like so. So I've gone over my halfway line now. So if it, so Goku's back comes right out to sort of the halfway point of this this wide page. And then another one. This is a big one. Curve. It's probably his spine actually. Down to there. So, so he, we can see just like all his ripped sort of gear, like all his his ripped trousers and stuff. So, like here, kind of bumps across like so. Then it goes up underneath his massive shoulder, which is right here. So, ba, ba, ba. right, so, let's see. So his shoulder line, so it's big, it's like a big oval or something, just right here, okay? So the bottom of it, we'll do the bottom of it first. So it like curves in like this. To there. Okay. The top of it is just up close to his jaw. So it's like up here. And it comes back. Like so. Okay. And then there's another shoulder muscle inside so it's like curves down like this okay so like a shoulder muscle line like that and then the other one like there and then another sh curved line there. And then we can see his neck muscles just in here. So coming across underneath his jaw again. Look like so. This is his trapezius, his upper trapezius muscle just here. And then his lower trapezius is like here. So we'll draw that as well. So. Just some lines to show these back muscles, just there. And then we have another curved line just here. And like coming down that way. Another muscle, muscles on muscles. Like here. And something going this way as well. here then we have some abdominal muscles down here so we have his lats so just in his armpit here and then his obliques so kind of go around like so and then we have some ab muscle in there and an ab muscle like in here somewhere Okay, so the, all that ripped clothing just like comes off in spikes, just back here, like so. So just sort of ripped 
kind of coming across uh, like this. It'll go all the way over to his arm over here. So, so we'll draw his tricep just here. This is his tricep muscle. The top of it at least. So then we have a couple of rips coming out of that. Back up into here. Just coming down off my page there. Lots of these ripped lines. And some lines for his orange part just underneath that. Can't see much though. It doesn't fit on my page. Okay. So the rest of his arm here, right? So we have we started his tricep, right? So it comes out to his elbow, which is just here. Okay. The rest of his tricep will join into there. Then his bicep is just up here, going out from his shoulder. Then we have another bicep line just there, and another tricep line just here. So this elbow then comes into his forearm, which has another muscle that kind of looks like a letter U there and then his arm comes up to his wristband so we have a curve line here curve line there so this arm because it's going away from us is foreshortened so it looks kind of stumpy so it's kind of like if an object when you're looking at it like this straight on it gets kind of shorter as it turns away from us or towards us it's called foreshortening it's an arty word. It's just to do with drawing. Things kind of get stumpier as they go away in perspective, or if they're coming like towards the, the camera. So it's the forearm here, muscle. And then that has another line just there. And then we have a line for the wristband. Like so. So, okay, wristband. We have a bump here, bump here, kind of a torn section back here. And then this comes up, down, ripped area maybe. Back down to here, and around into there. This is actually a finger. Oops. There's a finger there. Or a knuckle, should I say. So he's doing that Kamehameha style thing. So we have a bump for his hand just here. Then another bump up here. Like so. This is gonna come up to his thumb. So it's gonna come up like so. And then we meet his thumb, kind of square top on it. Like so. Back down out to his knuckle. Back in towards his hand. Then there's like a thumbnail up here. It's a real square, sort of stumpy thumbs. Some thumb wrinkle lines on it, just there. Then line for the webbing of the thumb to the index just there and then the index finger will come down like so and kind of bump around for the top of that finger but we can just see kind of a square top for the knuckle because the finger is kind of bent around the other side then we can see a knuckle there and this comes up like so and then maybe another sort of knuckle line here. 
And then, yeah, that other finger should be there, and it is there already. Okay. So, that's one hand, what we can see of it. So, the other hand then, he's coming around from the other arm. So, this is the other shoulder, so that means it has to come out about here somewhere, okay? So, so he's doing this kind of thing. So, this is the arm that's going around his body. So the thumb, so he's like this. So the top of the hand will be here. Like that. The thumb will put down here. And this comes around for a knuckle. Back up to here. Curve it around up to there. And we'll add like a knuckle line there and his thumbnail somewhere, just like here. So real square sort of fingers. And right, so, so that's like that. So we can see this goes to the middle finger ring finger so let's see so we'll go we'll just do the palm of the hand here like so first and then we can see like maybe a hand line there and then the starts of a finger going in behind his hair And that means his little finger should be here. Comes out, down, back around. Back like that. Something like that. This is tricky now, take your time. Not easy doing hands. So we have starts of his index finger, say here, and the line for it there. And then this is going to come out the other side of his hair, like so. Out, down, around, back in behind the hair then. And then there's like a nail here. So then his middle finger is longer, so it has to come out from the index. Comes out this way, out like that, comes back around back up into there. And then we've lines for his fingernail. And then the ring finger, we can just see coming out this way. Back around the bottom, back up into there. Back up into there somewhere. And maybe that line just there. Can't really see the nail on that side. Of course, in there is all sort of energy and stuff, but you, you can do that in with color or line, whatever way you want to do it. I'm just gonna leave it like that and I might do it with color afterwards, but we'll see. Okay, now for the hard part. <laughs> Why did I do this? Okay, so that's Goku, so Vegeta, right? Actually, I forgot the front of Goku's neck. Just here. And here, and a line going up towards his ear. Okay. All right. So where to start? So we're probably gonna have to do Vegeta's body first just to get everything in the right place. So his back is like right up against Goku's, so like here. So it curves this way. And there's like a rip in his clothing just here. But this comes down like this, okay? And 
then, so his shoulder should be here. Bumps around his shoulder muscles this way. Comes in. like that so this is like the blue vest and his, his shoulder muscles in here right so the front of his torso right here and this comes back like so for a fold for his clothing down the front adding sort of folds as you go like so so this is like the direction of his torso then this will come all the way down. Like this. Okay. Down around. And it kind of hits here. Bumps out a little bit for his leg or his hip. And then His gluteus maximus down here curves around and go back up to his leg, right? And then the top of his thigh is like here. So his leg is like up in the air, kind of, okay? And this is like his hip, so you could do a line for that, just there. You can line across there. Like some fold lines. I think he has like another rip in his clothing somewhere. Somewhere in here. Okay. So. That's the kind of shape for his body, right? So another line. Showing. Just maybe the armpit. There's another rip. Like here. Right, so we'll do his arm that's coming across his head. So once you have that's the shape, right? His leg, we'll do the leg last. So his shoulder will bump around here. Okay. shoulder muscle, then his tricep under here, this goes all the way up, this goes all the way up to his elbow right, all the way up to there, so it's like right across from the middle of Goku's hair, that's where his elbow is, so his face is going to be in here somewhere then, and then we have some more shoulder muscle lines, just there, Then we have bicep. Like here, and then some tricep lines. Right there, another one here. And then some more muscle lines there. All right, so his elbow then, just here, so it comes out from his arm, obviously, <laughs> and then it curves around, comes back up, and then this will become his forearm, but it goes into his glove, and it's foreshortened, like this, so it kind of just goes around then, so it's stumpy, like that, okay, there's like a couple of hatching lines and stuff in there, like so. His nose, so real pointy kind of nose, right, just here. So it kind of points out right beside his bicep. Then it comes like back in to here. 
and then we do that shadow underneath. So just there. Just there like so. It's a real sort of pointy nose. And then his cheek will go in behind his bicep and then it'll come out the other side. that and then it'll come in real sharp and then we bring it up to his brow like that so remember three quarter pose we can't see his jaw we can just see his cheek and like his eye and his brow so we see his brow then curves back this way like so. So then at his nose, we can see sort of a curved line for his frowning area. Just here, and then another one on this side. And then out from this, the eyebrows grow. So this eyebrow curve out like this, like a tick. And then we have the thick end. And then we're gonna bring that down. Taper it in, thinner and thinner until we're right in here. And then his eye, so we have a diagonal line this way. The small section is like up here somewhere, like in there, and then we bring this across, like that. So like a little triangle just in there. And then his eye, so a circle, we can see his full eye, real intense. And then the other eye, we can barely see it, but we can see some of the eyebrow. so it kind of comes down like this, real straight, beside the brow into there and the other side of it just down there and we can see a little bit of the white of the eye just in here but very little we can't even make out a pupil or anything and then maybe some cheek marks just there Coming underneath, like so, and then some frown lines on his nose, right, and then his mouth, so it's just underneath his nose, so it kind of curves out for the top, it looks like he has a little tiny smile, <laughs> that's weird, and then this comes down, back into there, and then the front, down like so, and then the teeth, dividing, dividing it up like that, maybe like some stretch lines just inside his mouth, like so. So, ba -ba -ba. right, so he has sort of lines on the end of his eyebrows, and then this nearly touches his sideburn. So the sideburn's just here, and this will help us place the ear. So the ear is gonna be just around here. And the earlobe, just there. And that means his jaw has to be here. And then the bones and ligaments in his ear, like this. And you can add a few more if you want. Something like that, and maybe a line for his neck inside here, two of them. So a line there and a line there. So then that Vegeta's hair, so he's got like this kind of receding hairline. So kind of sideburn curves around and it goes back real far up this way. Up around like that. And there's a spike that comes down the center, down to there. So it curves around and then down. So like there. 
and this is going to go back up like so and then he has some frown lines just there maybe one in the center one that way and then like an angry looking vein just right here it's like he's got high blood pressure like so so then the rest of his hair travels back this way so it starts kind of down here just at his ear right so I'm gonna spike a small one down here like so then the next one will come out from that just here so it kind of all travels back towards Goku's hair right so we'll go back over this side and then we'll do a spike over here just to sort of get the shape right so we're going that way and then this one will come out from here back this way down like so yeah and then this comes back to there back down to there Maybe another spike just coming across goes behind Goku's hair. And then we've like a hairline here. Maybe another individual spike just like there. Ba -ba -ba. And then. So these have to go in behind Goku's hair then. So. Like that way. Probably comes. Nearly there, nearly there, guys. So this comes up to there, like that. And one there, one there. Then some more kind of texture lines, hair lines, and stuff. And here, like that. You can just see another bump for his shoulder just here and okay so hands right so so they're just they're just here at the top of his head so we'll do right we'll do we'll do this this other arm that's coming out from behind his head so we can see like the elbow just here and then we have a bump for the forearm like so crook of the elbow like in there then his glove so his white glove that he wears this comes out like so this will probably be a long video my apologies but it's a complicated one so that's his glove on that side this is the underneath of the glove that comes in towards the hand so then the other glove it touches the other glove so the other glove comes down like this into his elbow and there's like a another layer, so it kind of goes up and around. It's kind of ripped here. It comes up and around into there. Curved line like that. And then like another line inside. Like so. Like a blue section or something just here. Okay, now, so knuckles and fingers. So we've got one knuckle, two, three, and a final one somewhere here, like tiny. So they represent the top of each finger knuckle, so the bent over part, maybe this knuckle here. So that means this will bend down around to there and the side of the hand will come down like so out like so down to there and then we go out for the thumb out like that bring it around for a knuckle back 
into here. Back up. Then bring it around to there. Another fold line for the glove or the skin. And then we can see the starts of the other hand, which is like twisted, turned outways. So we have the side of the side line for that. So for the line for that hand just there, it comes across for the top knuckle of this hand, right? So one knuckle there. We can see another knuckle kind of here. And then one more coming out from that. And then the last one, sort of down here. And his thumb is like the other thumb is on the opposite side, but we'll, we'll do the fingers first. So this curves out around up like that. Then we have another bump for like skin. And then this finger comes down like so. Then this comes up across to this finger, down, around that again just comes up for a fold fold for skin and then the bottom of the finger just there and maybe the inside of it just here it's kind of lines coming across here too then the next finger out around there and this one comes out down, around, back up to there, then back into here. Then there's like lines that come up this way. Another line there. And we should see his thumb somewhere here. So like coming, touching his little finger so it comes out that way up to there, back down, like in here somewhere, and then we can see a fold for that, for the skin or the glove, and then curve of his hand, palm of his hand, kind of the inside of the thumb then there. But this is a real awkward hand position to draw. It's very difficult. <laughs> so don't beat yourself up if you find this challenging. And there's like another line like there. Right, so that's like the wrist that's like twisted back. Okay. And then this one's kind of twisted forward. So the fingers are just kind of standard. Come out, down to there, fold or two, fold or two underneath here, and this finger like comes in behind there somewhere, and then this comes out down into there, and then fold for the palm of his hand, like that, like a knuckle line there, and a line for his bend of his wrist, just in there somewhere and yeah I think that's the best I can do with the hands okay that was tricky <laughs> it's awkward hand position to draw especially that one it's weird okay anyway so so the rest of his leg so his his trousers is ripped just here his pants, should I say, just like that. This comes down to his thigh. And then we have like a thigh muscle or ha like hamstring muscle line just there. And his knee comes out this way. Like that kind of sticks off, his kneecap sticks off here. And then his shin comes down off my page, can't fit the whole leg in. We have another line there. And then his calf muscle, just here. And then we have some torn 
part just there. And then his white boot that comes out and down that way. Like a line coming across there. And then the fold of his leg going up towards his knee, just there. And then some more muscle lines on his thighs. And boom. Of course, there's scratch marks and cut marks all over these guys, but you can add as much of that as you want, just like this kind of thing. I won't add too much because it'll make the video way longer than it already is. But we should actually see some of his other leg. So it, it would follow his torso here, down like that. And then that means this should come out that way. Okay, there you go. How to draw Vegeta and Goku, Kamehameha, Galakun. Hope it was helpful, real tricky, long video. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.